What's up guys, Timmy Gibber here, and welcome back to another video. So a lot of you guys might know that YouTube has been weird lately, so if any of you guys haven't turned on notifications yet, that would be appreciated. So all you got to do is click on the bell, check that box, and then press save. That way you'll get notified every time I upload a video. So today we are here in Light of Dragons and we are going to be looking at the Guild War. Sorry, wasn't able to do a stream yesterday, was pretty busy, and actually I had so much homework and so stuff to do, so that's why I could not stream. But I really only did some Guild War for maybe 15-20 minutes, really for not long at all. And I already got a good amount of points, so if you look, you cannot look at my... Oh yes, actually, if we go into the, uh, into the rewards section, we are already at over 260,000 points, so that is pretty cool. And as you saw earlier, my gems went down, of course, so I am now under 600 gems. So I basically spend around 600 gems, I would say, maybe a bit less, maybe... Five seven years or so, but I spent around 600 gems, and as you can see, we are right now in the sixth position. So with four wins and one loss, the one loss was pretty unfortunate. We uh, we had like one million point, and we still lost. It was pretty close though. So shout out to the guild that one versus I don't know who it is actually, but yeah. So let's look at the top guild so far: Dark Pony and Nyans. Uh, Knights of the Wind, Red Creation, top three, the Knights of Chaos, and Blood Forge Dragons over here. 15 million and we barely have a 1 million point difference with the 5th guild so get wrecked uh, I love the name it's, it's really cool I like it so 14 million over here barely 1 million point difference so who knows if we are going to be getting 5th position with a plus or, uh, or not we will see in the near future but yeah so our goal is on the top 10 so if we can secure the top 6 which basically there is a huge gap like look okay there's a 2 million gap between 10 and 11 and the Blood Tigers are at only 4 million and we are already at 14, so a 10 million lead. So definitely no way unless everybody pushes like a crazy, but so far 14 million. We are pretty secured for our top 10, so who knows for top 5, but I don't really think so. But still pretty nice right here. So let's look at the rewards. Didn't look at it too much, but still some pretty decent rewards like uh, Invest Guild War. I like it because ton of rings and amulets, fusion boost, which I was lacking so much, and definitely with the armor, that is always going to be useful to level up the rings and amulet set. And I also got a ton of pets, so I got some 4-star uh, tier 1's pet. I think I got 3 in total of that, and then I also got 3 5-star pets, so I think this one is water, yeah, it uh, is water. And we also got some crafting materials, which is always nice. We got the B-Shank, and we got the Shade Essence over here. So if we look into... My, 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 uh, armor spirit. I was searching for the name over here. You can see that we are getting closer and closer. Seems like every video we're getting closer and closer. This one. Is it the heroic mode? I, I really don't know. Oh, yes. All right. It looks cool, I, I think. So you can see only four shade essence missing and we are going to be gable to craft. I think that is season 2 or 3. I'm really not too sure. Anyways, looks freaking awesome. I think if I get it, I am going to be uh, crafting the Spirit and Spirit 1 since it looks so good. Like, I'm in love with this armor. It looks really awesome. I think Spirit and Spirit. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Which one do you guys think I should craft? I think honestly it should be this one. They all look pretty nice. I really love the uh, Spirit team to that one. And then also the uh, Akins Globe. That one kind of sucks. But then you can have all these ones with the magic horns. They all have stuns, so that is why it's super good. This one over here, Aquarius Bounty, looks super nice. So who knows? We might be getting it in the near future. We got 22 chests. Why not do it right now? Sorry if this is if this video is going like pretty much nowhere. But I just wanted to make a video updating you guys on the rated stuff. Uh, I mean Guild War. I'm gonna be talking about that more in the future. But let me know. You guys mind if I talk about different stuff, or you want me to stay to one particular topic? Because I think it's more fun like that. Just talk about a bunch of different stuff. And basically, just open my keys over here. I got two keys. Could get something good, super rare, and at least I did not spend all, all of my gems on that chest. It's all right. It's all right. We have ten spider keys over here, but we are going to be opening, hopefully, getting some crafting materials. Aeolian crest that is always nice. Then what else? Pretty much just enchanted keys. And then, oh, champion chest, champion chest. Are we going to be getting some epi some epics? Okay, 50,000 gold, all right. Oh, another dragon key. Wow, nice. Imagine if we get a dragon forge out of that. Or shadow forge. Oh, okay, okay. 
I was. Oh, I, I should have said it. I want a Shadow Forge armor. Not the ring, not the am amulet. This is for the Horfrost Regalia. And that is probably. A season Shadow Forge that I do not have. I do not know which one it is at all. But it is definitely something that I don't have. Pretty crappy stuff over here. Only good thing is really the fusion stones. But at this point, when I have thousand, like, is it really that good? So over here, the Guild War, it should be ended over here. So as you can see, 1.7 million points. So definitely getting the win bonus is pretty useful over here. So you can see this is what we have so far. So 1.7, 3.3, .3, billion, and then a pretty low one in reserve your altery. And then the first one was definitely something pretty good. A huge bonus over here. We are right now at 15 million. So this is brings us into sixth position. We were still that, but now less than 800,000 points difference between that. So shout out to everybody in the guild so far doing pretty good. So Victor, Steinick, Prime, Goldie, Prime Sent Will, like pretty much everybody. Not, not going to mention everybody, but here they are. Really awesome stuff so far. So I am over here, as you can see, TB Giver, 200, I-35 wins with 270 points. And this has only started today. And pretty much I only did like all of my points in like one, uh, into just one war. Ba basically a frenzy, if you guys don't know, when the two guilds are super close in the points, there's going to be a frenzy at the end. So for 10 uh, minutes, there is going to be a bonus. And then I took advantage of that and did like 200,000 points at that time. But I spent a lot of gems, but it was worth it, definitely, just for my, uh, the milestone rewards. If I go into the pets and potions over here in the pet evolution, you can see that my 5-star stuff, I am getting pretty good videos in this one. I, and I really don't know which one, like, because I'm going to get another tier 3 someday, and I don't know which one I should get, because they're all nice, they're all nice, I don't know. Maybe water one, because I don't really have anything too, too good water, I guess. But this one over here, we have so many water ones, wow, I did not know that we had that much. That is always nice, just enhancing them a bit. All right, over here, tier two. Let's see, do I have more for four stars? I think I used everything on my guild horn, so that kind of sucks. So right now, I just have some tier one stuff. It is all right, it is all right. As you can see, it is uh, healthy, but we have so many potions. So why not? Why, didn't, why take the risk when you can just use a potion? Because we have so many potions, so... That is basically it. So it is right now tier 3 or new one. And it's probably going to be sick. No, not even top 3. Uh, tier 3. Pretty cool. Maybe going to be uh, able to get it to tier 4 pretty soon. That is going to be pretty nice. Just wanted to show you guys some gameplay of me just going ham into the uh, Guild War earlier. So basically, if you want to do the most amount of points possible on a GM strip, all you got to do is to take your main armor or just pretty much anyone... Just have a strong armor on the first one. For example, what I did, uh, the Shadow Forge, Dragon Forge, all of these give the same amount. But basically, I, uh, I like to use this one since it is pretty strong. But this one, the Hurricane, is even better since it is really good at just level uh, with rings, uh, with no rings in amulets. Basically, as you can see, just equip your first knight. It's pretty strong. Then two, one stars or two stars with no rings in amulets and no pet. So just by using that and just going ham, as you see in the gameplay over here, we managed to do like 900, 2900 or so points each time during the frenzy. So that definitely helped us. And because of that, it only took like 5 or 6 seconds to do one attack. So like, we got, I calculated, I'm not too sure if it is right, but I think that we got around 15,000 points per minute. So basically, in just 10 minutes, that makes sense, in 10 minutes we got like 150,000 points. And then I did another 50,000 after that, since there was like a 5-10 minute after that. So that went pretty well. I'm pretty happy how it is going on so far. So really no competition. No, not 11 guilds pushing, because when that happens, I hate it so much, because then there's competition and everything. So that ruins it. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, because that is always appreciated. Much more Nighting Dragons videos, and much, much more to come in the near future. I'm really glad you guys uh, enjoyed the misplay video that I uploaded ye yesterday in collaboration with them with like a ton of giveaways and stuff like that in the near future. I think it's going to be pretty cool. So that's basically it. So thank you guys for watching. It is greatly appreciated. So like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.